Okay, so let's turn attention to um, M and A rumours and movers. Yeah, uh, so here we we're looking at uh, uh, a spin-off uh, potentially from a company called Johnson Controls, which is JCI US, the ticker, and it's considering either a sale or a spin-off of its uh, auto parts division. Um, Johnson Controls, one of those. US companies are quite sizable, $34 billion market cap, but probably not a, exactly a household name to most people. Um, what the management have said is that they want to focus on profitable areas of the business, or business really, where it could be a global leader. They don't see the auto parts business being necessarily part of the future. Perhaps it's, that's a bit surprising given that that sort of division of, of uh, Johnson Controls has generated $5.2 billion in revenues in the last quarter and $22 billion of sales overall in 2014, which is roughly half of what the whole group um, generates. Um, perhaps the reason that they're, uh, they're looking to get out of it, though, is that the sales growth in, in that area has been sluggish. Right. And it's managed about 1% gain uh, on uh, over 2014. Um, if we look a bit closer at the sector, uh, the other big names really are Delphi, uh, DLPH, US, the ticker there, Borg Warner, BWA, US, and uh, Vistian, VC, US. Um, if uh, this auto parts division were to be spun off, and if it traded around in li line with, uh, with the major names in the sector already, probably come on with a market cap of around 33 to 35 uh, uh, billion dollars potentially. So in fact, it could. It could if it was at the right valuation, almost rival the valuation of Johnson Group as a whole. So I think that's the that's the point. They're trying to unlock some shareholder value at the same time, trying to get out of a business that they, they don't see have particularly got a future within the group. I don't know if you can square that circle, but let's see what the, uh, the valuation comes out at. Understood.